Ben Stewart here with PopularMechanics.com, and I'm here in Carlsbad, California, with Steve Fambro, CEO and co-founder of Aptera. Now, Aptera has a really incredible following on the web. We've been covering the car for a little bit now. All electric car, 120 mile range. Steve, why don't you tell us a little bit more about the car? Sure, Ben. Thanks. Uh, the Type 1 is, is our first foray into the electric vehicle market. Um, it is a very safe, uh, relatively inexpensive vehicle. It gets about 120 miles range uh, and can charge in several hours, and it has a top speed of about uh, 90 miles an hour. Now, Steve, you're going to have a hybrid model, too, coming out that a lot of people are excited about. Why don't you tell us about that a little bit? That's correct. The plug-in series hybrid or range-extended electric vehicle, uh, depending upon the acronym you wish to pick, uh, is basically this vehicle with a small, finely-tuned generator uh, that gets up to 300 miles per gallon. So you're going to let me take this car out for a little drive. What should I expect with the Aptera Type 1? I think you should expect to be impressed with how quick and stable it is. Well, let's hit it. Now, we've just spent a couple of minutes driving the Aptera Type 1 around, and what's interesting about this vehicle, it's, it's really quick. I mean, you step on the gas and it goes, and that's the torque of the electric motor. It's also got great visibility, and it's kind of fun. People stop and stare at you in this thing. It's, it's better than driving a Lamborghini, in my opinion. So let's go back to the shop, and Steve's going to take us through all the technical details about this car, because it is tech-heavy. So the, the Type 1, both the Type 1E and H, this is an electric version, Type 1E we're looking at here, both have the same low drag body. Um, you see it's, it's very streamlined, there's no obtrusions, there's rear view cameras that are, side view cameras that are flush with the body. Uh, we start with the low drag approach just by looking at something as traditional as a windshield wiper. A typical windshield wiper mounted on a vehicle has the same drag profile as this entire car does. So what we've did is we've designed a very special windshield wiper uh, pocket so that uh, it doesn't add any appreciable increase in drag to the vehicle. Uh, you can see that the windows, the hood and the doors, everything is very much flush fit. Uh, under a piece of flush fit glass on the top we have solar cells and these solar cells augment the climate control system so that when you're parked <clears throat> in the sun in a parking lot or at work for example, we collect all of the heat from the inside and actually pipe it out in the back of the vehicle right here. And by doing so, we do two things. We keep the vehicle cool and we fill in that last little bit of weight turbulence and actually lower the drag. So here on the Type 1H, uh, we have the same basic frame and subassembly as we do on the electric vehicle. All of the suspension components are outside of the frame, so that opens up the whole inside space for either batteries on the all-electric or in this case a series hybrid, a mount for the engine and generator and batteries. It supports the entire weight of the vehicle. It supports the, trend, the suspension attachments. The batteries are the engine. And in a frontal impact, it's designed to fold up very carefully in a controlled fashion and then push underneath the vehicle. So we actually move the impact sequence underneath the vehicle and prolong the impact sequence. Moving backwards, we have a cross car beam that's much larger than what's in typical vehicles. That's designed for transverse loads. We have a structure underneath the composite structure to carry that load up to the roof and to the roll bar. We have side impact protection uh, at the hip point on both sides of the vehicle. A chromoly roll structure that ties both sides of the vehicle together. And we have side impact beams in the doors that are much stronger than what's necessary by federal regulation. So Ben, we're looking at the rear drive of the Aptera Type 1. Uh, the Aptera is a three-wheel vehicle, the two front wheel steer, and the rear wheel is a drive wheel. This swing arm mounts on a subframe, uh, which mounts on the composite structure of the vehicle. So in the subframe, we also contain the motor and the belt or gear reduction. 
So it's a really low cost and low tech way of uh, making a final drive line for the car. Here we are on the cockpit of the Type 1, and the first thing that you may notice is there's no typical instrumentation. Uh, there's three screens which show you a 180 degree rear view, and of course all your driving information, speed, voltage, current, power, your state of charge indicator down below, all of that information is displayed on the center screen. Uh, we also have a touchscreen computer for navigation, for music, uh, for other things. And uh, we have a heater and air conditioner. In fact, the, the climate control unit is a heat pump, so it works both as a heater and an air conditioner. All the materials that you see inside here, both on the door panel, the seat, the dash, the carpet, uh, they're all made from recycled material. Uh, another interesting thing you might notice is that there's a lot of room inside. Uh, when I close this door, I've got my arm just about right over here. I've got plenty of leg room. Um, you've got plenty of room inside. It's not a penalty vehicle. And Jason Hill, uh, the designer of this car, he wanted to give us uh, every modern creature comfort uh, and, uh, and space uh, that you would have in a typical vehicle.